Hey everybody, Sam Man here with the 3 Love Griffin FS YouTube channel. Uh, there's not a good, clean way to say that, so I watch it every time. Uh, very quick video here. I was struggling with how to pop chaff and flare, and I figured out a way to do it. Um, very quick disclaimer, I don't know if this is the right way, I don't know if this is the best way, and I'm not going to be talking about actually um, trying to defeat missile launches. Um, all this is, is the way I figured out how I can selectively pop chaff and flare one at a time. Okay, so, uh, first and foremost, let's go into the controls here. And some of these controls are just weirdly named. If you don't know that much about them, if you're not familiar with them, you might skip by them. So I did find the dispenser switch, and one might think that that is how you uh, make stuff happen. Um, and it is. It's just a matter of figuring out how to how to make it work for uh, to your liking. So dispenser dispenser switch down off off on. There's a toggle on and up. These are a little bit um, uh, not necessarily intuitive about what they are. Okay, so um, so it's a little bit weird, and I, I probably don't have these set up quite the best way possible, but. Uh, I do have them mapped. I think really all you need to map is up and down because that will toggle. You can bump it up, you can bump it down. Okay, you can also do this bypass switch. Um, that I, I might I might wind up taking off the up and down and just doing on, off, and bypass because those are the three positions. In fact, let me do that. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna mess with it while I'm doing the video. There's also the dispense button on the sidewall. Uh, I do have that mapped to my countermeasure switch down, uh, but I'm I'm not going to mess with it. And then there's the dispenser switch, which is on your HOTAS in the F-18, uh, fore and aft. So aft is flare, fore is chaff, and I mapped these early on, and I couldn't get them to do anything. Why? Because the switch has to be on. So, oh, again, my track IR is on. So, see the dispenser down there? Bypass. Barely see it, and just so you know, the ECM switch is right there. So if you're needing the new ECM, and I know there's a way to hide the joystick, I'm just not messing with it right now. Okay. So uh, the dispenser switch needs to be there's on, there's bypass. Okay. So I thought I could turn it on, and then I have my HOTAS uh, trying to have forward and aft map for the dispenser aft before. So we have this on right now. And if I hit that, nothing happens because I need to be in bypass. Let me see if I can get it in bypass. I, I may be hitting the button. This is why I need to map it into uh, off on a bypass. Oh, it is in bypass. What am I doing wrong? Ah, the next thing I forgot. See, this is this is why it's kind of complicated if you if you're like me and you don't really know that much about all this stuff. I think you got it armed. Let's try that now. There we go. Do you have to have your system armed. So, it's in bypass. It's not on. My belief is uh, somebody can probably correct me if I'm wrong. My belief is that if it is on, then the computer's taking care of it. If it is in bypass, then you are taking care of it. If that makes sense. So I think that's what's going on there. So now you can just pop them to your heart's content. You can't see it, but there's some chaff popping out there. Ooh, did I already run out of flares? <laughs> I did. I wasn't carrying very many flares. So anyway, quick video again. It's not necessarily the right way to do it. That's not necessarily the only way to do it or the best way to do it. Uh, but that was how I managed to manually pop chaff and flares uh, with the controls we have. I uh, hope that's helpful. Thanks.